Good morning, race fans. Racing 393. Uh, my first capture, my first proper capture after a little bit of a break. Um, what I've done today is, <coughs> as I've said in my little update, I'm trying to sort of fit in with everybody else, to be honest. Uh, but uh, as I've said, there's quite a lot of. Well, not, there is a lot of people out there doing this. Um, time isn't always on my side so I have to sort of pick and choose when I can do this I'm not quite as freely available as I used to be um, and I thought what I'll do and uh, there's a lot of guys doing this and girls doing this overseas um, Billy Strange of Billy Strange Racing um, does a lot of capturing from the from the state side across the pond there um, and I thought well maybe being based here in the UK maybe we'll have a little bit more input and knowledge of the European stroke UK side of things um, I'm not going to get all political there anyway anyway so um, what I decided to do my first capture <coughs> excuse me I'm on R factor 2 As I've said in my little piece before this, I had to uh, reinstall reinstall the game because it, I don't know, it just wasn't playing right. I had messed around with it to be honest, with mods and updating things. It just, I don't think it, I think I done more damage than good. So I decided to, I just decided to get rid of it um, and then reinstall it. So here we are, and what I've decided to do today is we're going to concentrate on the TCR racing European series um, TCR stands for simply touring car racing um, incidentally there if it's called TCR racing then it would be called touring car racing racing seems a bit um, odd when you say it like that but anyway th this is kind of how I would see Perhaps how the uh, the BTCC should have stayed, maybe I don't know. Uh, these are kind of small three-door hatchbacks, um, Alphas, you know things like Audi A3, um, the Honda Civic Type R, Cupra. Uh, what else have they got out there? The the Hyundai i30, Peugeot 308, and the Golf GTI. So that so they're kind of you know like the hot hatches. Um, uh, from what I've read, they are going to, they've got a, a UK version of this, this series, and a European series. And from my understanding is, there's a round or two, maybe a couple of rounds, or around halfway through at Spa, where the two series will combine. Um, and this is, I think this is televised on... I think it's on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure one of the channels on, on on the satellite channels has it. it. Maybe it is Eurosport. You don't quote me on that, but I'm sure you can find it. Um, and I, also, just so we're going through some bits and pieces with R Factor 2, as I've spent a lot of hours on it now, over 600 hours, I'd like to say. Um, I've sort of settled on on the following settings here. I mean, the AI strength can sometimes it can differ from mod to mod. So it seems to work okay at the moment on 98. I quite like the aggression at 40 because you get a good uh, feel of if you really overtake an AI vehicle, it will come back and you know take an opportunity to overtake you back which is good and the AI limiter <coughs> uh, from what I can I'm not so sure that works too well but my understanding is the the higher the percentage you put on there the closer the 
field is. I'm not so sure that works. I think it's, you know, what, what you're supposed to do is put it, the AI limiter at a higher percent on things like opals. So you get pack racing. And on the, on circuits, you're supposed to keep it at a lower percent. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of practice and qualifying, although it's going to be recorded, I will edit that bit out. Um, you can see that if I go through, the, I've got practice, I've got the real road set at green. Uh, when I get to qualifying, it's naturally progressing and the race is the same. Um, I've done away with the yellow flags, got black only. Um, our factor 2 doesn't do yellow flags very well, so I've took them off. Um, <coughs> Now, the, the race itself is 23 minutes long uh, in real life, plus a lap. Uh, I haven't got the option, I haven't found it if it is in here, to do time plus a lap. So, with that in mind, as it's the real time, we might as well put the tyre wear to normal. Whereas qualifying is a lot shorter. Well, that is normal, funny enough. Um, that is interesting. So if you put it like that, it changes it all. I didn't realise that. I've put the real road time scale as one and a half. And you say that it rubbers in a bit quicker. And I've put the actual time scale of like times four. I don't know why I did that actually. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I suppose that really matters. If you're literally going to do like um, endurance racing, but in a short span, short time scale. So I put that to normal. And it does change it all. I thought it was there. Well, I, d I did actually think it was separate. You could put each um, practice, quality, and race in different formats. But Clearly not. Um, so effectively, the only thing real time, real road time scale, I've got that one and a half there. So we'll leave it as it is. I've actually put the weather throughout the weekend as it is in Hungary at the moment. Just an added detail. Um, and 25 other AI drivers. I've chosen um, Nicky Tim. He seems to be racing everything nowadays. I'm not sure if he still does this, but perhaps he did when this was made, this mod, um, but he's in, I saw him in GT racing the other day, and he has a lot of sim racing as well, so I thought I'd combine the two. Um, <clears throat> the Hungarian ring is actually from the 1988 track pack at the F1 1988 season. Um, I'm hoping the AI can cope being on a track that it's perhaps not designed for that sim, if you see what I mean. It's not a generic Hungara Rings track that you download and use across the board. This one's actually specifically packaged as an F1 88 season track pack. Oh, so I don't know how that's going to go. So we're going to do a bit of practice now um, and then I will recommence come the race. Hello race fans, here we are at the Hungaro ring. Um, our factor two, I'm going to do the uh, TCR race. I'll qualify 21st. Um, the track layout is the only... Well, I haven't looked, to be honest, at anything more modern for our factor two, but this is a 1988 variant um, not a lot has changed in the, in the track to be honest it's not um, laser scanned by any stretch it's a very simplistic um, track modelling to be honest but effective nevertheless very twisty it's all about corners and corner speed so we've got 23 laps wish me luck 21st. The air temp is 20 Celsius. Okay, Dean.
But here's the start of the race. A bit weird. Single file start rather than grid. So I don't quite know what's happened there. All there. Just going to try and get into a bit of a groove. It's 23 laps. Ninety-eight percent difficulty. All right, Dean. You're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 0 0.4. The gap behind is now 0.6. try and get a little bit of rhythm through some of these corners. Problem is, one corner leads to a next. So, my lap time might well my qualification time was um Ma is now in the lead. Don't let this bit, guy intimidate you. A bit late, to be honest. It's got very good force feedback feel for a front wheel drive touring car, I have to say. You can actually feel the back going, which is unusual. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. There's 23 minutes plus a lap, but I can't do plus a lap, so it's 23 minutes. I'm hoping I've got enough fuel. The reason I chose this combination is because it's actually on this weekend. And I'm trying to keep things to replicate real life. So, that was close, the back stepped out then. A lot of lift off oversteer. So I'm just trying to keep with the pack. roll the corners. If you overdrive these things, it's very easy to make a mistake as you can see. Overtake an opportunity here if you get a good drive. The gap ahead is now 0.2. I 
I try to race and do m moves that I would do in um, real life. Just because it's a game, I don't try to barge my way through. I kind of respect the AI. It's a fast bit of the circuit, if there is such a thing, apart from the main straight. The chicane's a lot faster than you realise this bit, the last one before the main, before we get round to complete the lap. Cold tyres all round. Drove that last corner then. Have to be patient getting back on throttle. The guys behind our cat wall. That last lap was at 204.2. drive out of that corner. You can't just launch it down the inside there, because you wouldn't do that in your life. 23. You'd never make it. The AI are a little bit um, robotic, as it were, all line of stern at the moment. No one's really doing anything, I suppose. is now 0.6 No one's really overtaking anybody Last chicane again The gap in front is now 0.6 Okay Dean, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes Possibility down here. Stay in the slipstream. <coughs> He's pulling out a just bit. Two oh four point eight. Definitely not then. Didn't want the back end to come round. We only lift off oversteer then. Good. It's actually shaking my rig about, which isn't good. There's a possibility. No, not close enough. I've got the, the AI aggression at about, well, was it 40%? I'm doing that. Overdriving it now. Ok, 
Okay, Dean, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. I haven't made any impression on anyone in front at the moment. You've just done a 203.7. Lap time's not too bad. Morbidelli is leading the race. They are, over they are actually overtaking there, so they're battling each other, which is good. This fucker's trying to distract you. Don't let him. Good move, mate. Curve then. The answer to Afanasayev ahead is now 0.7. Very busy. It's difficult to sort of launch it down the uh, inside of someone without actually causing a wreck. So there's not many passing places on this track in real life. Brake temperatures look good. So you've got to plan your overtake. That was potentially one there. AI a little bit static, to be honest. <coughs> Alright Dean, relax, focus, keep it smooth, P22. But that's more to do with the track, and it's, it's an old track. Ten minutes remaining, ten minutes. Just trying to get the power on nice and early. And this chicane is very, very tight actually, this one here. Got out there really well, got a nice drive. He's wide. I'm not so sure that's going to work. Turn 10. We're seeing minor wear on your left front. The steering wheel is still straight, that's the main thing. That's annoying, isn't it? I'm going to catch Tosh is now leading. 26. You're running last. I know.
It's more rhythm. You need the rhythm on this track. Which I obviously don't have. And when you brake, or like any front wheel drive car, lift off oversteer is quite apparent on these. Same as the sort of the British touring cars on this game. Nearly, uh, I was. I thought that corner was this corner, flat out. I'm trying to keep it smooth and see if I can catch up at least the last place guy. straight again. Morbidelli is now in the lead. I'm seven seconds behind. Your lap time was at Okay, Dean, the next car is Boardman. So, slowly catching. I'm trying to keep the corner speed up. Not trying to be a hero. Think about the lap times, just hit each and every apex. Which is what I'm trying to do. It was a bit of an amateur mistake, if I'm honest. We're seeing minor wear on the front. See the track rubbering in. I sort of sped that time scale up a little bit. Very slowly catching. Well, 
Can't be much left of the race now. It's not a bad layout of the track. It's not one of my most favourite tracks, I must say. Nike Chair is leading the race. It's almost too twisty. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Two We're minutes. Quickest right now. But once you learn it and get the corners in sync, it's actually very rewarding. the pack though. She needs a bit more curb now. A minute left. Lots of left foot braking, as you can imagine, in cars like this. One more lap left, I reckon. Wide. Toff is now leading. One more lap to go. We're quickest at the moment. Okay, that's good. We'll try our best and see if we can catch him in the last lap. Only this bit here where the AI do go a little bit slower. It's nearly a um, game over for me. Left side tyres are cold. How can they be? Crew Chief works quite perfectly in all games. Sims. The final chance. Get past him here. It's not like it. Finished last in the end. There's the checkered flag. Shit day, mate. Let's just pack up and go home. So there we have it. Yeah, 
So, overall, it is very enjoyable. I'm not sure what's happening to my headlights there. They seem to be always on. I can't understand why the bike's doing that. Um, so the start of the game, it kind of, for some reason, started in line astern. I've no idea why that is. I did 23 minutes. In real life, it's 23 minutes plus a lap. And as it happens, that's what it did. Um, so this is the TCR mod. Touring car racing, racing mod. Uh, very good, actually. They fill up front-wheel drive cars. As you can see, they're very competitive. Perhaps too competitive. Uh, I have sort of set the, the AI limiter low to spread the field out a little bit. But you can see in, pra in qualifying, it seemed to work. Not in the race. I set the weather to what the weather was like in Hungary at the time. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it's you know it's, it's there to do, I suppose. And in, in 23, uh, 25 minutes, we get about 12 laps in. So at least now I know I, I, I sort of double fueled that. I had like 28, 28 liters, so I could probably halve that next time. You can definitely feel the tyres going off, so that was good. Full feedback's amazing, actually, for front-wheel drive. And again, which is, you know, our factors, we know it's very good. <coughs> um, so, there, I hope you enjoyed it. That was my um, Hungaro ring in the TCR mod for R Factor 2. I shall see you next time with a, a different race location. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.